First prize, yeah, so, thanks a lot, jerks. <laughs> You're lucky. Now, now I have feels. <laughs> Trying to get through this whole week without having feelings, and now I've had one. <laughs> and I bet you can't have, you have just one. You can't have just one. All the fans. Call the ship's listener, Jonathan. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right in the middle of the show. Uh, it's so nice to see all of you. Uh, I mean, I. Uh, if I could give you the same kind of greeting and response, I would, but I am only one man. Uh, but, uh, I'm so glad to... <laughs> I'm so glad to be here with you, and I have just missed you a lot. I've missed this whole thing so much, and it feels so good to be back, and so thank you for being here. Storm? Anything? No, I'm on the left. Drew? I know you got feelings. Because you're a millennial. The generational discourse has really taken that it's oh, here we go. turn during the last two years. It's been a long time, <laughs> and we really missed you. Um, and it means so much to have you here. I don't think I'm able to do it all the way to like, Thank you to all of us for being here. I think that's it. Yeah, this is the best kind of surreal. Yeah. Like, this isn't what's supposed to be surreal. <laughs> what we went through in the past two years is the surreal part, and I think by day three, It'll be real again. Yeah. Um, so anyway, where were we? Crying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I love you guys. <laughs> guys, in the collective least gendered possible way of saying it. Now you can leave the lights up. I'm going to need to see these people for a while before. But once the actual show starts, turn these lights way the fuck up. Um, yeah, thanks, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been a journey, and now the end of it is a journey. S another journey. <laughs> uh, Fractal. so anyway, I get to, I'm so happy I get to say these words. <laughs> I can never imagine you to hear your dumb shit. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> It is time for morning announcements. Good morning, students. Good morning, principal Sibborn. <laughs> my, uh, my cold, dead heart has grown three sizes. Go ahead and do that again. Good morning, students. Good morning. All principal Sabora today. <laughs> uh, a few uh, morning announcements. We discussed. We discussed it. I'll pipe down. It's my turn. <laughs> wow! Didn't take me long to get mean, huh? <laughs> Six minutes of feelings, and then it's right to the cruelty. That's my policy. Um, so we mentioned this in the orientation, but just to mention it again. The masking policy on board this ship for the duration of Joko Cruise is uh, masks are required indoors except in your stateroom and when you are eating or drinking, or eating and drinking if you're particularly talented and messy. <laughs> masks are not required outdoors unless you are in a crowded situation where social distancing is not possible. The Lido pool deck, the center deck with the retractable roof, is considered an outdoor area, except in the event that uh, inclement weather forces them to close that roof for an extended period of time. Um, as we have noted in emails, 
there are some gray areas here and there because everything is not math or some things are just the complicated math that my daughter knows, but I don't. <laughs> um, we ask that everyone, just as a general rule, be considerate and use your best judgment. There are times where different people may have different definitions of what is too crowded in this outdoor area, and we just ask that everyone be considerate of each other and understand that different people will have different tolerances over the course of this week. You know, some of you, as I understand it from some emails I've seen, this is certainly your first vacation, if not your first venture out of the house that wasn't just to a grocery store yeah. or to beat the DoorDash bag at the front after the other person has left. So we really, I mean, we genuinely appreciate that this is the event that you're taking this step for. Uh, we want everyone to feel comfortable and safe and respected all around. So if, for example, if you're in an outdoor place and it's kind of crowded and you see someone wearing a mask and you're not, or vice versa, if being able to social distance from each other is not necessarily a, uh, the easiest option, you know, respect each person, respect that person's choice, uh, and if somebody politely asks you to put on a mask and you're able to do so, consider that as an option. And also, in the same respect, if you are going to ask someone to put on a mask, doing so politely and courteously is always appreciated as well, and generally produces a favorable response. We'll all get through this, we'll all relearn how to vote real quick, I promise. Uh, so thank you again. And uh, if it helps, you can kind of consider all the people on this stage are actually door dashers. <laughs> Entertain. Sure, food for the soul. Wow. We are, you can't feel it necessarily as much as we do when you're standing up here. It's kind of bogey up here. kind of like this, right? Like, are we taking this way? We're taking a, yeah. we're taking a badass two wheel corner right now. <laughs> we're, we're doing a deuce of hazard situation right now. Hard right to NASA. Um. Yeah, so set, set the counter for yeah, seven Storm is, minutes. Storm is currently up right now. Yeah, so yeah. We're, uh, yeah the, uh, for those of you who weren't on the 2020 cruise, this opening night concert was kind of a, uh, we were all dropping like flies left and right. Yeah, my, my view from about minute two was the ceiling. <laughs> we'll see if we can beat that today. Um, uh, so today's theme is Welcome New Cruisers. Uh, by applause, how many of you are brand new to Joko Cruise this year? We all welcome you into this crazy, wacky, awesome community that is Joko Cruise. There are a number of events this evening specifically designed to usher new cruisers into the overall vibe. You can find those events on the sked. And, you know, if you see someone wearing uh, one of those My First Joko Cruise pins, which are new to this year, uh, make them feel welcome. Because it can also be a little overwhelming, even beyond the whole I don't know how to do other people uh, thing. I should rephrase that, but... <laughs> but that's a nice... Hello, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I don't know that part either at this point, though. <laughs> uh, there are, if you are interested in upgrading your stateroom, believe it or not, there are a few staterooms available on the ship. Um, there are a number of verandas and at least one uh, Neptune suite. If you are at all interested in upgrading, you can see the guest services desk and they can talk you through your options and prices and such. That is a thing to consider. Uh, tomorrow, we are in Nassau, Bahamas. <laughs> until 2.30 p.m. Uh, generally, we have to be back on board half an hour before departure time, so plan yourself accordingly to uh, be back on board by 2. Um, that concludes almost all the morning announcements, except, of course, for the selecting of this year's Gold Team Leader. Yeah. Every year, for those of you who are new, we select a person at random to be the team leader of the Gold Team and of the Red Team, respectively. This person has no responsibilities or privileges except for we will save seats, usually down front, given the state of us spitting on people. Maybe you don't want to be on down front. Uh, of seats of their choosing for the. Who wouldn't want to be spit on by us, though? 
I won't answer that question. Uh, the seats of their choice, uh, and also whatever sort of duties you all, or, or privileges you all care to bestow upon that person. Uh, otherwise, um, let's get right to it. Your gold leader, chosen by random, at random. Hopefully you are here in the room. If you are in, uh, in your room watching this on live stream, don't sprint. Yeah, walk slowly. Whenever you get here, we will crown you, so to speak. Please, give a warm reception to your gold team leader for Joko Cruise 2022, Janet Fulkerson. specifically on this team, for you to decorate as you see fit, other than, I did write the word gold on top, so you know which one is which. Please, Janet, would you crown?